that is a Clay County sauger. There's no one. This, this is how you tell the difference between a walleye and a sauger. See how it's got the spots on it? That's a sauger, not a walleye. One home operator, we have a problem. All right, I'm going to show you the difference between a walleye and a sauger. This is a sauger. See how it's got some spots on it? You know what I'm saying? Ain't no plan with a man. I want to show you the difference between a sauger and a walleye. Even though this is a pretty good sized sauger, see these spots right there? That's how you can tell it's a sauger, not a walleye. And then look at the tail too. See there's not a white tip on there. I mean sometimes a sauger will have a white tip, but it's more pronounced with the with the walleye. You know how I like to show the difference between walleye and sauger? See this is definitely a sauger. You see all the spots on it? And then you see the way it hit my jig? Normally it doesn't do that on a walleye. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the difference between a walleye and a sauger. I know usually it's a sauger I show you, but this is actually a walleye. See the white spot on its tail? And then if you notice, it doesn't have any, you know, spots on it. And if you look at the dorsal fin, you don't see any spots on it. Anyway, that's a walleye. Is a Douglas County Sauger. Alright, I want to show you guys something here. This is the difference between a Sauger and a Walleye. This is a Sauger, and he's a little badass because he just hit a spoon bigger than himself. That is a Clay County Sauger. Show